This video is introducing a major update to the HDR Sun and Sky Kit, in which you now have the option to have 16K backdrops. So if I click on the Kits button now, and I go to the HDR Sun and Sky Kit, you can see there's now two presets. There's the original preset, which is at 4K, and there's this new preset, which has a backdrop at 16K, which is what I've got loaded in this scene. So I'm going to expand Preview to fill the screen, and I'm going to launch it. I'll also expand the environment so we can see what's going on. So in this version of the preset, there's two environments. There's the original environment at 4K, and this is providing the reflection, indirect, and refraction rays. And there's an additional environment which is just visible to the camera, and this is at 16K. So you can see what happens when I disable it. See the backdrop gets very blurry. And if I re-enable it, we have a much sharper backdrop. And so this is going to make the kit much more useful for those times when you need it to provide a high resolution background, as well as all the lighting and reflection information. Now, of course, you still have the full set of controls that you had before. If I restore preview so that I can have a GL window open, let's launch the smaller preview and open the sun and sky controls. And I can interactively change the amount of cloud cover, and I can also change sun height, sun rotation, etc. Now, the only caveat is, of course, that with a 16K backdrop, the kit is a little bit less responsive. So I'm just going to rotate the sky a little bit to bring the sun into the frame. So the camera background has its own brightness controls independent of the lighting and reflection controls. So this brightness control, which is the original brightness control, will control the amount of light and reflection brightness in your scene, and you can control the backdrop brightness independently of it. So that helps you to tone map the sky in your scene independently of the lighting. And the kit is still fully compatible with Octane and V-Ray, including the new preset with the 16K skies. So with this update, the HDR Sun and Sky Kit is now extremely versatile, and it offers two separate workflows, one with lower resolution skies, which is more interactive and responsive, and another which is slightly less interactive and responsive due to the resolution of the images, but that has these really high resolution backdrops. And you still have full control of all the parameters from the height of the sun to the rotation of the sun to the amount of cloud cover. And with these high resolution backgrounds, you also have this option to control the intensity of the background independently of the scene lighting. And the addition of these high resolution skies makes this kit even more unique and useful. Thank you very much for your support and thank you very much for watching.